So my favorite powder is probably... I need a Bahama mama One who ain't really with the drama Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be doing an Ayurvedic for Beginners Q&A. So I did ask my Instagram some questions and they did drop quite a few questions for me to answer. I figured this would be a good video to do for you guys and to, just let, and to let you guys just ask me the questions that you wanted answers to. So before I get into my questions, if you are new to this channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a very huge thumbs up if you like it, which I'm sure you will also. Be sure to turn on the post notification so that when I post new videos such as this one, you won't miss when I post them. So I'm going to jump right into the first question, which is, first things first, what is it? I got this question I think three times. So basically you want to know what Ayurveda or Ayurvedic is. Ayurveda is an ancient Indian herb. It has medicinal properties. You can consume it, but the ones that we use in our head, we're not going to consume those. You can also use it on your skin. The ones that we use on our hair, some of them, they can be used on the skin as well. The Ayurvedic for hair is really to treat a variety of scalp issues as well as to help prevent hair loss, to help grow your hair, to help thicken your hair and to incorporate a healthy hair care regimen into your lifestyle. So I hope that that answers your question. If it doesn't, you can also, you can always just do a quick little research on Google when I did my readings. That's pretty much what I found. The, the second question reads, what would you say are the best powders when starting out on this Ayurvedic journey? So when I started my Ayurvedic journey, which was 2019, I started using the Sukesh powder and if you watched my previous videos I did explain why I started with that powder which is just because I am someone that suffers with scalp issues you know that I'm very transparent with that and the Sukesh powder has a variety of herbal blends mixed into it and it was really really good for the scalp so Pretty much I would say when you're trying to start your Ayurvedic journey or when you're getting ready to start your Ayurvedic journey, I would suggest that you research the powders that caters to whatever goals it is that you're trying to achieve. However, I would recommend the Amla to start with just because it's a very, very moisturizing powder. It also does such a great job with detangling your hair, keeping your curls and your coils and your kinks soft. And it really does what it says it's gonna do, which is clump them. I'm gonna link my video right here for you to see my reaction, or I'm gonna post it somewhere in this clip. But I was so amazed when I used the Amla powder. Like I didn't, I really didn't expect that to happen to my hair. Um, I would also recommend starting with the Goddess Hair Pack, or well, sorry, I'm saying Goddess Hair Pack because that's what it's called on Hannah Sook's site. But if you're not ordering from Hannah Sook, then I would also suggest starting with fenugreek, aloe, and rose petals or hibiscus. So on Hannah Sook's website, those three powders are mixed into one and it's called the Goddess Hair Pack. I think that those mixtures together are really good because the fenugreek promotes hair growth. The aloe is very moisturizing and the rose petal or the hibiscus just helps to balance everything in your hair. And so that's also a good powder or good powders for you to start with as well. I also recommend the Brahmi for anyone else suffering with scalp issues because the Brahmi is good on the scalp too, which I discovered that when I was doing my research to figure out what exactly Ayurveda or Ayurvedic is. So I would recommend the Amla, I would recommend the fenugreek, aloe, hibiscus, I would recommend the Brahmi, I would recommend the Shikakai, that's a very good powder as well, I absolutely love Shikakai powder too. So all the powders that I started with I would recommend, but again I do say that it's best for you to just um, figure out what it is that you're trying to achieve with your hair goals when starting this hair care regimen or lifestyle and then I would say go 
use the powders based on whatever your goals are like you can't go wrong with any powder you use to be honest like it to me i don't think it really matters which powder you start with once you start but again figure out what your goals are what it is that you're trying to achieve and whatever powder comes closely to that then i would suggest you use that powder this one says everything lol what's your favorite powder do you prefer to mix with water or coconut milk so it's tough for me to say what my favorite powder is just because i feel like i like them all that's a problem with me like i tend to like things like i'm not i'm frugal and i'm particular but like when i like like if you hear me say i like something i like it so my favorite powder is probably the sukesh although i do love the amla i just really don't feel like anything right now that i've tried tops the sukesh um so that is my favorite powder i do prefer to mix my powders with the coconut milk and that's just because the coconut milk makes it a more slippery mask and that helps to make it easier to apply and easier to rinse out so yeah i do prefer coconut milk over water um the other question says does this replace your shampoo or do you use it as a deep conditioner the way that i've been using it in my series it is replacing my shampoo so i do go in with other deep conditioners every now and then but i'm using it as a cleanser more than a deep conditioner so in my previous videos again which i hope you guys watch those because i do speak in them and i do kind of well i do explain what the powders do i do explain the benefits of using them um and i do remember mentioning that on the website where i get my powders from which is henna souk they do have a category of powders like when you go on the website you can choose between selecting a powder for cleansing a powder for conditioning a powder for like a mask or a hair treatment i believe a variety of sections you can choose from to select your powders from so if you want a powder that's more for cleansing you'll go in the cleansing category if you want a powder that's more for conditioning you would go in that category and you would select your powders from those categories or sections i say categories so much so this question says what do you do to your hair in between your ayurvedic routine co-washes refreshing curls etc so once i'm done applying my mask to my hair and i rinse it out i do go in with the cleansing co-wash that i got from henna souk i know that you guys hear me say this company a lot but that's just because this is really where i get all of my products from this video is not sponsored i just really like to recommend things that i use or places i purchase my products from i mean you can get your products from anywhere you can literally go anywhere but i use henna souk and so i do go in with my cleansing co-wash from that brand um i don't deep condition after every wash day uh i probably did it like once a month well the first month i didn't do it the second month i did it once um, so once I'm done with my wash day, I then either protective style my hair or I wear it in a wash and go the way that I'm wearing it now. Normally, I don't have to refresh my hair. I try my best to get my wash and goes or whatever style that it is. I have it to last me for the entire week or for the next wash day. So my goal is to just make sure that i wear a style that i can get a full week plus days out of until my next ayurvedic wash day i do sorry i may have to i may have to touch up the front of my hair um but that's just because the front of my hair gets dry the quickest and the fastest so other than that that's probably the only refreshing and touching up that i do um i don't do yeah i don't do i really don't do much like when it comes to my hair and hair care i try to do less because i feel like less is more so i'm not someone that wants to have five steps in between wash day or on wash day like i really 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 try to do less i feel like i don't need to do i just feel like you don't need to do that much all the time for every wash day that's just my opinion it's just me 
after using a henna or a cassia mask doesn't matter what products are used or do you use protein free products so all the powders that I've been using didn't have henna in it um, I believe one of the powders I used had cassia in it it was either the amla or I think it was the amla it was one of, one of them had cassia in it mm, I wouldn't say it doesn't matter what products you use I would just say that I've never really thought about it so deeply like I use my mask and then I just use whatever products that I like to use on my hair after that so I hope that that answers your question okay so this one says there are so many herbs which aerobatic herb do you recommend to start with so I kind of already answered that one for you um, this one says I want to know which powder is used for what and should all be mixed the same way so I kind of already answered this too um, again like I said in my previous videos I whenever I use a like if you go on my page I would have titles that say shikakai powder Brahmi powder amla powder and when I do those videos I pretty much break down in those videos what the powders are used for um, you don't have to mix all the powders the same way you can mix them differently each time again I say I mix my powders based on what I have here in my house because sometimes I'm lazy and I just don't feel like going out to get new things um, but then the things that I have here in my house are the things that caters to my hair needs so like coconut milk again I use coconut milk because it just makes the mask easier to apply and rinse out and then coconut milk is also great for the scalp and hair as well if I'm gonna use water I'm gonna boil the water and, and use hot water because when I did it with the amla powder it made the mask so much more rich and so much more better so you don't have to mix them all the same way you can literally mix them any way that you choose to this question asks is where to purchase how to prepare it how often to use it how long to leave it in your hair where to purchase i purchased mine from hannah Souk. how to prepare it i have a video that i'm going to link right here that's called how to make a very smooth aromatic ayurvedic paste so that's just a rough guideline that's just showing you how to make the paste you can use whatever liquid you want whatever oils you want you could add additional powders additional ingredients but yeah that's just a rough guideline as to how to prepare your mask how often do i use it in this series the very first month i used it once every two weeks the second month i used it weekly and in my third month now i'm using it weekly again and how long to leave it in your hair so the packets give you the recommendations if you know me if I have nothing to do I'm gonna leave it in my hair for longer than that so the longest I've left a mask an aerobatic mask in my hair was probably six hours and that's just because I really had nowhere to go nothing to do and I wanted to make sure my hair really soaked up all of the benefits from it so you can either follow the packet guidelines or you can leave it on longer if you choose to I just wouldn't recommend overnighting it this question says the entire process tools time water temperature all of it um, tools I use a glove just because it gets messy um, and I don't like to really feel things on my hands so much I don't know why I'm weird with that so I use gloves um, the time it takes you can pre-pray a mask way ahead of your wash day and just store it in the freezer so that when you're ready to go and wash your hair all you have to do is take it out of the freezer and thaw it out that makes the entire process so much easier so much quicker water temperature again if you're going to use water i recommend boiling your water and using hot water this question asks is, has it thickened your hair i don't know i feel like my hair was always kind of thick like i know when it's wet it doesn't look as thick but my wash and goes when this is i did this wash and go yesterday so this is probably 24 hours now and this is how it looks 
so my wash and goes are pretty thick all the time honestly and the older they get the more they poof out so maybe it did maybe it didn't i really can't answer that because i really haven't been watching that that's a good question this question says what Oh, where do you buy them from? Yeah, I answered that. Henna Souk. So guys, that's pretty much it. That is all the questions that I received. If you have any more questions, be sure to drop them in the comment section below and I'll definitely be sure to answer them back for you. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that I answered your questions to the best of my ability. I hope that you found this video very helpful and if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, then be sure to check them out guys they are really good they're informative i show you how i put it on my hair i show you how i wash my hair after sometimes just check them out guys check them out again make sure that you are subscribed to this channel give this video a very huge thumbs up be sure to share it with your friends guys your engagement helps me so much and i will see you all in the next upload Deuce.